Welcome to this short deep stretch yin style yoga class to unwind and release stress. Let's come to the mat, swing your legs forward and sit up tall. You might need a block close by. Stretching your legs out in front of you, coming into caterpillar pose, which is a passive forward fold. You can fold from here or you can sit up on a block or folded blanket if you're rounding in your lower back here to make the fold easier and more accessible. So try it out if you need the block, otherwise let your spine round, chin to chest, relax your head, neck and arms. There is no reaching towards the feet at all, we let gravity do the work. Holding for around 5 minutes here. Try to send your breath wherever you feel the sensation the most. So this could be in your upper back, your neck, shoulders or your mid to lower back. Wherever you feel it is where you need to feel it. Let everything go.
Be really mindful of your lower back as we make our way back up, engaging the arms, pressing onto the mat to lift inch by inch. Head is the last thing to come back up, really slow. And then come into a cross-legged or kneeling position to take a moment to take note. What has shifted after this first pose? And when you're ready, we will come into the second pose, which is going to be a child's pose. Keep your knees close together to make this more restorative and then fold your upper body over your legs. Resting your head on the mat, arms extend back behind you with the palms facing up. Let your upper body completely rest. Gravity does the work. I always like to imagine setting off a heavy backpack at the end of the day. All my worries and stuff that has been going on. I just set it aside here and just be in this moment. Place your hands out in front of you to press yourself back up one vertebrae at a time, coming into all fours for thread the needle. Reach your right arm up and then thread it underneath until your right shoulder and ear either lower to the floor or to a block. Your left hand can stay pressing into the floor or slide your arm forward and overhead. Remember not to swing your hips to one side more than the other. Try to keep them right over your knees. Deep in and out breaths through the nose. If you like, you can breathe in for a count of three. And then out for a count of five.
If you had your left arm up overhead, slide it back down to press yourself back to tabletop pose, doing a few rounds of cat and cow. Lift the gaze, drop your belly, and then exhale, round your back, chin to chest. One more time on your own. And then let's do the other side. This time your left arm reaches up to the ceiling and then thread it underneath you to lower your left ear and shoulder either down on the floor directly or prop yourself up on a block. We don't want any tension in the neck and shoulders. You can choose if you want your right arm extended up overhead or pressing directly in front of you into the mat. And again, really focus on your breathing here. Maybe inhaling for a count of three and exhaling for a count of five. Extending the exhale over the inhale has a really soothing and relaxing effect. Great to release stress and any forms of anxiety. If your right arm was extended upwards, slide it back down and make your way back to tabletop pose. Maybe doing a cat pose once more and then a cow pose. We will close this practice in a seated meditation. So choose if you want to sit cross-legged or kneeling. You can prop your hips up so that your hips are higher than your knees if that's more comfortable for you. Close your eyes, palms can rest on the knees. Center yourself here, taking a few more deep breaths in and out, noticing how you feel different now. Your palms can come together in front of the heart, 
and may you carry light and love out into the rest of your day. Namaste. Thank you for practicing with me. If you enjoyed this class, please remember to let me know in the comments down below. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and share this video with a friend. Practice again with you soon. Namaste.